Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of representing decimals. This is standard 4.2e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got four different pictures of some dollars and cents. And what we need to do is we need to find where the eight digit represents eight cents. So we're looking for eight cents. Now it could be more than eight cents. We're just looking for an eight in that hundredths place. So let's just start counting money right here. So A, we've got one, five, six, seven, eight. So this is going to be eight dollars and some cents unless we happen to go over a dollar and if so we'll just change that so let's just start labeling money this is where it gets kind of confusing so there's my i got a quarter right there i'm going to go by my largest values first so my second largest is remember our smallest that's the dime for 10 cents and it looks like i've got a few nickels here so i've got five i've got five i've got five and then it looks like I've got a few pennies, one, one, one. So let's just start skip counting by the largest value. So I've got 25, skip count by 10 is gonna give me 35. Then I skip count by fives, 40, 45, 50. Now I skip count by ones, 51, 52, 53. Oh, so close, if we would have had one more nickel or one less nickel, we actually could have made that work because those three cents with another nickel would have given us an eight. But that is not what we're needing. Let's look at B. So we've got five, six, seven. We've got seven dollars there. Looks like we've got two quarters. Let's put a dollar sign on these. Two quarters worth 25. Oh, we've got three quarters worth 25. So that's going to be pretty big. We've got one dime that's worth 10 and then we've got a few pennies there so if we're going to start with our largest we're going to do our 25s and so that is going to be 25 50 75 next largest is 10 so we're going to get 85 and then 86 87 so so close 87 so this one would have worked if we would have had one extra nickel. This one would have worked. If we would have had just one extra penny, that could have worked. But let's try C. Five, six, seven dollars. And let's check no quarters on this one. And I've got just one dime. So we are looking at quite a few nickels. That's a five, that's a five. So five, we've got three pennies, so at least that's promising because three pennies in the right combination could help us get up to eight. So let's start counting these. I've got 10. Let's keep count by fives now. 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. Aha, so that's what we've been looking for. Look at that eight in the eight cents. So most likely that is our answer, but let's just double check D to make sure we are not overlooking something. So D, we've got five and a one, that's gonna get us $6. And let's check, we've got a lot of coins here. We've got a 25, just one quarter. We've got a dime, another dime. Doesn't look like we have any nickels. It looks like we just have a bunch of pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that could work. You could just get eight straight pennies. Depends on what the other ones add up to though. So we've got 25. We're going to start with that. And then we're going to start with our dimes. 25 skip count by tens. 35, 45. And then we count by ones. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. See, at that point, we either needed a nickel or we needed to get rid of three pennies, and that would have helped us. But our answer here is C.